Hey, buddy. So, uh, here I'm gonna utilize the cart for some corner stabs and matador stabs. Grave stabs, whatever you wanna call these. Notice I saved the NG for last. I, I, I noticed he had low health and it just seemed like a soft target, so um, I saved the easy shank for the end. But in this case, I'm going to have to just take the fire as they come. That corner there um, that I was hiding in, by the way, uh, is a great, great hiding spot that can provide a lot of picks, but it only really works if you disguise a scout and have your secondary disguise out. Um, that's because it's the smallest view model of all the, all, all the classes. Um, if I were dis not disguised, um, my elbow would be poking out a spy. And uh, another number of other classes, the, uh, the weapons point, pit point out, of the, uh, out of the spot. Yeah, that looked like a stat to me, but let's move on. And that demo looks like a softer target. But I guess I get called out in the voice chat. Yeah, a lot of the time with surfs, I choose to use them as a getaway, but certain times it just makes sense to go for the pick. It can be pretty lucrative if you surf it right. I'm going to take this corner kind of wide so I can get this stab. And this medic's just coming out of spawn, so I'm just going to rush him and get the stab quickly. Get a nice quick straight stab. If they're coming off of that ledge, you might notice that I didn't take fall damage. Um, I did that by crouching and sliding off. That kind of reduces your center of gravity and allows you to avoid taking fall damage at certain points in certain maps. And, uh, in that case, it let me get those steps. With this spy, I'm not going to engage because he's got the high ground, higher health, and a more powerful gun, so I'm just going to back off. It decloaked aggressively on that sniper because there was lots of noise. Um, sounds like rocket explosions and pipes explosions and um, the pyros flames are really good masks for the decloak sound. It's really important to time your decloaks with sounds um, and uh, distractions. Here this pyro seems pretty distracted. He's firing at something and there's flame, flame noises all around so I go for it. I stayed I go ahead and stay uncloaked because it looks like that pyro doesn't really notice me. It's important to be scanning and um, assessing the awareness of all your targets at all times. And try to get a sense of their health too if you can. Um, that said, do avoid eye contact if you're trying to act. Uh, kind of mistimed that stab on the medic. At this point, I'm just kind of reassessing, plan plotting out my next move, and waiting for the right moment. You don't have to be moving at all times. It's 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 more about being available for the for the opportunities than it is rushing to some goal. You know. There at that part with that soldier, I noticed that he didn't react to me to hitting me with the rocket, so I decloaked really aggressively. And with that pyro, I, I guess I guess I just feel like there's enough distraction and noise to go for the decloak, but. Uh, he does react to it and I have to improvise. And yeah, sometimes with aggressive decloaks you just have to have a getaway plan. Like they're both people reacted to me decloaking but I was able to sneak away, no problem. You really do get rewarded quite quite a lot for um, decloaking aggressively in pubs and it's something I really recommend you try. Anyway. Thanks for coming out. I uh, hope you're all doing well. And I'll catch you next time. Peace and love.